I hope you guys are excited as I am because the national is 90 days away, aka three months away. And I just cannot wait for the national because it is the Super Bowl, the Daytona 500, the college football national championship game, the cream of the crop for sports cards and lately hobby cards in general, anything trading card. This show is truly encompassing to be the best show for that, you know, trading card niche, right? Whether it's sports cards, uh, Pokemon cards, Magic, Marvel, Yu-Gi-Oh, One Piece now. So in today's video, I want to be going over a bunch of different things in regards to the website for the show. And then I also want to dive in how to prepare and when you should start preparing later on in this video. So if you just type in uh, nsccshow.com or if you just type in national convention national sports card convention this will be like the first thing that pops up and here is the home page and i know i briefly talked about it a couple months ago in a previous video i'll actually leave a card to it here however there's going to be a lot more in-depth information in this video but if you want a kind of a brief scratching of the surface definitely go check out that video up there and if you guys see me looking over here it's because i'm looking at my camera so i do apologize for not being direct with you guys I gotta look at the uh, I gotta look at the the computer screen, right? The 44th National Sports Collectors Convention, July 24th to the 28th, 2024, in Cleveland, Ohio, and you can see over here the International Exposition Center. They've had a ton of different expos, conventions, and just straight up events. There's an abundance of information all up here on the website. You can scroll down, purchase tickets, exhibitors and vendors. You'll be able to see all the information of the confirmed vendors. Schedule and hours, VIP package, uh, convention news, just kind of what's happening at the convention itself. And then you can kind of get uh, in depth with who the national show is, you know, just, you know, in depth information about, you know, their 45 years of doing the show. So I do want to go over tickets, however, and I also want to check the VIP packages, which we'll get into in a moment. So right now, if you want to purchase tickets in advance, it is 20 five dollars you can buy it now and you can go to any day of the show with that ticket you don't have to go to a specific day it won't ask you to to choose a specific day it'll just you show up boom there's your ticket at the door though it will be thirty dollars so the extra five dollars definitely worth saving just because more likely than not people who are attending are going to be spending some money so might as well lock in your tickets now i know i will be very very soon uh the discounted price ends on June 30th, 2024. So if you want to purchase your tickets in advance, do so at the discounted price, do so before the end of June, June 30th. However, starting on July 1st, the tickets online will be $30, the same price as it is at the door. $5, not a huge difference. However, if you're gonna be going to five days, getting five tickets at $25, the extra $5 if you go into all five days, then basically pays for a ticket in itself. And then you do have some VIP packages, which is nice to see that they're still available. I do think that some, if not all, uh, some of the VIPs were not available at the time. I, I don't really remember. However, $200 gets you the basic VIP package. Uh, you get exclusive gifts, pass to all five days, select um, VIP autograph signers. It says 12. I think, I think on the website before it only said 10, but you get 12 selected free VIP autograph signers. You get a uh, half hour early into the show, VIP lounge, additional benefits, and you can bring your kids too, and you don't have to pay for them. They just don't get like the, the gift bonus. They don't get like the gift package, the autograph, stuff like that. But they can at least go in with, uh, into the show with you early. They can hang out on the lounge with you. So that's really nice. And then for $150, you get the five day early pass, which is kind of just a dull down version of the VIP. So let's do a quick little bit of math here. If you take 25, times five 25 let's let's really let's really simplify it here 25 50 75 100 125 so an extra 25 dollars you do get access to the show a half hour early to all five days and you get access to the vip lounge you just don't get any of the gifts or any of the autograph signees which to some people they may not care about so this might be a good package for them these are the advanced prices though. However, you can see right here, $210 on site if you wanna buy it on the first day, $160 if you wanna buy the five day early entry pass at the show. So 
those are all the ticket informations that we currently have as of now. Let's go over the autograph signing information here. And here is just a few of the signers that they will be having at the show. There's going to be maybe 50 people signing at this show. Here are just some of the people that they're going to be having. Uh, though some of those, you know, bigger names, confirmed names, Chipper Jones, Floyd Mayweather, Larry Zonka, Johnny Bench, Ricky Henderson, Mike Piazza's first appearance at the National, Edger and James, Jerry Rice, Cal Ripken Jr., and Manny Ramirez. That's just as it is. Sorry, I had to step away for a second. Somebody came in. But this list is right now as it is, and it's already a superstar, Hall of Fame, legendary list. Again, there's going to be probably like almost 50 athletes signing. There's definitely going to be a lot of great players signing. There's sometimes even actors at these events. So take a look at this, look into it if this is something that you want to do at the National. All right, so let's just take a peek over at the frequently asked questions tab. There's a ton of different questions. I think they have what 16 right here. Uh, what are the show hours, uh, which is, you know, all broken down starts at 10 ends at six, you know, for Thursday, Friday, Saturday, uh, Wednesday, four to eight. It's a short day kind of sucks that you're paying 25 30 dollars to get in the door just for four hours however outside of vendors dealing upon uh with each other on tuesday and wednesday you kind of get first access before the real first i don't want to say the real first day but like the first big day that following thursday so i went to wednesday uh last year i didn't do it the year before this coming year possibly probably i'm not exactly sure yet but it's super fun nonetheless. VIPs enjoy the privilege of early access being allowed half hour early each day, which we already know about. Will I be able to buy? When will I be able to buy tickets? You can do that now. Uh, is there a schedule of events? Let's see. Uh, here's that's 2023 schedule. So that's something that they need to update and hopefully that they do. Uh, what is the sneak peek? Uh, let's see. Do, do they have information on the sneak peek? Uh, your exclusive preview. Don't miss the sneak peek. A special preview of the show on Wednesday from 4 to 8. Admission is available with one day general admission ticket. So it, that Wednesday, kind of what I was talking about, was like that sneak peek early access kind of a day. The first official day is Thursday. Is there a list of dealers? What hotel should I stay at? That's something I also want to talk about. I'll talk about that at the end of the video is hotels. And if you haven't got one, I'd probably pause this video. <laughs> and go get a hotel because they're filling up pretty pretty quick directions hours um you know kind of bring my kids if i had the vip vip package stuff that i've kind of already briefly talked about in this video and in the last video as well but if you have any questions of course check out this uh frequently asked questions tab and you can of course reach out to them via email social media if you have any other questions or i'm sure there's a ton of other videos here on youtube that you might be able to find your answer to so the big question is well at least the big question i think that is is how do you prepare for the national well i'm going to kind of give you uh how i prepare for the national and i want you to take that information as you wish because how i prepare for the national might be completely different than how you prepare for the national or how the next collector prepares for the national me personally I'm going to bring zero cards with me, zero, because I'm not looking to trade and I'm not looking to sell. Maybe I'll bring like one or two cards that I can't sell here, maybe. But my main agenda by going to the show is to buy, buy, and buy cards for the shop. So I have tons of fresh, plenty of new inventory for you guys. The people that come here to the shop, if you do come to the shop, for you to be able to select and choose from. That's just me. Other card shop owners throughout the uh, country might be doing the same. Maybe people who sell on eBay or sell on whatnot might be trying to do the same thing. This is a great show in order to accumulate inventory for whatever your hobby endeavor is. Now, other strategies that other collectors may have is to bring their case full of cards, looking to fully encompass the hobby, and that is buy, sell, and trade. Some people might just bring the whole case, look in a cell, maybe consolidate, turn their whole case into a couple cards that they want for their PC. There's, of course, going to be your flippers there that are going to be trying to buy, sell, and trade, and, of course, make profits because they're not collectors. There's just so many different types of people in this hobby, and they're all going to be at this event. If you really want to, you could just trade. You could just take your cards and trade, 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 and trade all day. 
Last year, there was a trade night every single night at one of the local uh, hotels. I forget which one it was. It was like right across the street from the the convention center in Chicago. So will that be the same thing this year? The hotels are a little bit further than they were in Chicago, so I'm not exactly sure. More information about that will be released in the near future. But there is so much that you can do. How am I preparing? Again, I'm looking to just buy buy and buy inventory for the shop. How much money will I bring? That's my own personal business. How much money you bring is your own personal business. Whatever your budget is, make sure you try to stick to it as good and you know smart as possible just because the money will go fast. Money will go fast, especially if you're not selling cards because you're going to see a cool card and you're going to want to buy it. But there's thousands of tables out there that might have that same card for a lower price. Maybe it's more expensive. Maybe you walk away and you come back and the card is gone. There's going to be some like game time decisions that you're going to have to make right in the heat of the moment. And I think you'll be able to make those decisions better, better, and better for yourself the more you go to the National. Because I know when I first went to the National a couple of years ago, I was like buying everything in sight and the money went pretty quick. So what I did last year is I took a step back. I took my time because there's going to be deals everywhere. There's going to be cards everywhere. What I also did last year was, you know, I what 100% of my budget I took with me to Chicago, but I broke it up into 25% each day. So therefore I was only spending 25% of my budget on each day, kind of budgeting myself, making myself more smarter and financially wiser when I spend my money. Just so I'm not spending all, you know, 100% of it within the first day or two. You know, you know, no one wants to do that. So before we jump into the hotel situation, I want to talk about when you should start preparing. And I may, again, I made a video about two months ago, and that's when you should have been starting to prepare. Some people have already been preparing since the end of the last national. I would say now is the true time to start preparing for this national because it is going to come up pretty, pretty quick. We are now at the end of April going to be May, June, and next thing you know, it's going to be national month at the end of July, and it's going to come up quickly. How you should prepare, again, that's on you, but if I was you, I would start preparing now. Start buying inventory if you want to sell or trade it at the national. Sell off some stuff now if you plan on buying at the national. Whatever your plan, strategy, and agenda is at the national, start executing now because you need to make sure you're prepared you need to make sure that you're not going to run any hiccups, any speed bumps while you're there. You're not going to run out of any money. You're not going to run out of cards. You want to make sure you have the proper uh, storage for your cards, whether that's a Zion case, a backpack, if you plan on shipping it back to wherever you may live. I would start trying to figure out all these little minute details right now because, again, we're at the end of April, May, June, and July is national month. And you want to make sure that you are not behind the eight ball when it comes to being prepared for the national come the national. I'm back in the corner here and I have the hotels up that are near the Cleveland International Airport. The exposition center is right there. Look at it. There it is right there. In the general vicinity, this is moving too quick. There's a decent amount of hotels at the moment. However, how many of them are going to be affordable? How many of them are going to be you know, nice, cozy hotels? I don't know how much people care about that. Here's one for $83, $84. Obviously, you'd have to check on you know, whatever website you want to use, Expedia Hotels, or if you actually want to just book through the website. But the thing that I noticed is, yeah, it's a four-star hotel, three-star, three-star, two-star, two-star, three-star. Uh, so there's just like a lot of lower-end hotels. And if you don't care about that, that's fine. But if you do care about that, then those hotels, those four star, five star hotels are quickly going. Of course, this is just when I'm looking it up. It's going to change. But I did put my check in and check out for the first and the last day of the national. And of course, you got to check the availability on the website uh, of these places because what when I'm recording now or when you check when you do could be different from the following day or the following week. If you try to book a hotel last minute, Good luck. You might be like 20 minutes outside the city. I don't even know how far, you know, these hotels are. You know, this one looks pretty close here. This looks a little too true to be uh, too good to be true. Um, let, let's just visit the site. You know, let's see what we can get for what was it, 80 something, 84 dollars. Is this still available? And then this is not including fees or anything like that. I'm I'm curious because I I know I'm paying more than 84 dollars for a hotel. So I mean, 
Yeah, look at that. Three three ninety three all in. Interesting. So if I was you guys, I would book your hotel ASAP. You just don't want to lose out any good deals. You just don't want these hotels to get you know sucked up pretty quickly. You know, there's a bunch of other hotels in the surrounding area that you can see here. A lot of them, 109, 85, 120, 183, 83, 73. Here's one for 83, 85, 91. I feel like I'm an auctioneer. 85, do I hear 90? 85, 85, do I hear 90? 90, 95, do I hear 95? <laughs> Oh my goodness, this is so fun. This is so exciting to talk about. But if I was to take anything, if I was you guys and I was to take anything away from this video, book the hotel now. Why am I so far out? <laughs> I would book the hotel now because these will go quickly. There's definitely a few more than when I looked, but however, I'm looking at a bigger scope because I really looked in like within a five minute drive from the the airport the exposition center and it's all the same damn thing that will do it for this video guys i really hope you enjoyed this informational video i hope you were able to take a few things away from it and if you do end up going to the national i will be there come say hi let's take a photo maybe let's record a little bit of a little video together right why not let's have some fun with it it is the hobby it will be the national and i'm going to be in a great mood looking to buy 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 meet people make great content and have an ultimate hobby blast so that will do it for this video guys i really thank you so much for watching it please make sure you smash the thumbs up button comment down below and of course subscribe to the channel if you're new or have not considered subscribing and if you haven't checked out the channel membership program yet i strongly recommend doing so because you'll be able to see this video early you'll be able to see every video that i make early than the public plus there's a bunch of awesome cool perks benefits and exclusivities that the public does not have so i'd strongly recommend checking out the membership program here on youtube like i mentioned though that will do it for this video i've queued up an excellent video right here for you guys that i do believe is going to be excellent for your hobby endeavors hopefully i'll see you in that one